Hello, Quiet here, Reverse X Reverse. In the last part, we found out this game is not going to give us a break of any kind, even though we're on an earlier world. In this part, we're gonna die a lot. Uh, what was this level called, actually? Trio Rhythm, but not spelled with an I. But I only have two characters, that's not a trio. Wait a minute. Oh! Um, I imagine I still need that block thing. But apparently the level's not ruined. I bet I still need the thing with me, but I'm just looking and... What? Okay, so these gravity reverse things would not be reversing gravity for the the enemy that needs escorted. And you would gravity reverse and fall down onto it. This, this level seems awful. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> um... Alright, that almost worked. And then you have... Someone go down here. And then once it's on that... And then... <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the moves I'm gonna have to do in just a bit. Okay, so that was early. But that's actually fine, we can still save things. Oh, no, that, that was supposed to be... Wait, you can stay there without dying. I'm mildly surprised by that fact. I thought she'd fall right away. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> you gotta hurry after... Okay. Oops, you... Wait a minute. How did that not work? Do you bounce higher on the spring when you, um... Wait a minute. I didn't press the on switch again. Um, when you're holding the jump button? Okay, whatever. This lets me get slightly more prepared. Maybe I'm sending the wrong person to this? Oh, right. The fact that it's gonna bounce against this forever. If I don't... Flip the switch. Okay, so we do this. We do this, and then it passes there. Oh no. That's gonna be really hard, because you need to be offset from each other in order to not double hit the up-down switch. So I might just intentionally start the level like that every time, where I am... Um... What? Um, where I hit the switch late. No, except this time I didn't do it. Oh, wait, this is actually pretty easy to forget to press the on-off switch again. You know, making mistakes is pretty easy. Wow. I... <laughs> so that's consistent. It's supposed to work like that, I guess. And yet, you need to hurry. How are you gonna do this without hurrying? Oh no. 
And now our, our friend is dead because we didn't get the CD. Ah! Uh, I sent the other person. That's probably fine though. Maybe this will actually work out better, mysteriously. No, it won't. Ah! I missed. Hard to hit a narrow target with characters that have to not be lined up. Music stopped. <coughs> All right, new stuff. Uh oh. I need to have already hit this. I just dumped. Okay. Oh no! I was late. No, I was late. And I don't think it'll come back. It just falls off the world or something. I was hoping to at least get a look. Oops, I wasn't holding jump. They're actually pretty easy. Oh. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, I need to... What? I think I have to leave one character behind. I get someone on top of the pink thing. And then I hit the on-off switch when it's above the spring. Oh! I couldn't jump because the platform was falling. So that wasn't it. But what is it? Like, the spring bounce didn't go as far as I thought it would. I get ahead of the game. Oh! I need to avoid that CD. It's pretty close together. Ah! So my plan is to go under everything with using code instead of rhythm. Oh no! <laughs> that feel when you select the wrong character. Oh, you have to hit the switch again. Ah! Oof, don't jump right. But you have to keep rhythm on. And this is not a very good platform. You don't stick to it very well. It is like not our friend. Oops. <laughs> totally wasn't paying attention to where the spring was, was the problem. I was just thinking about where my characters were and where they needed to be. Not about the progress of the pink thing. Ah, I thought I could still land it, but they were too far apart. Oh, right! You can't grab the CD until after it's on the thing. How do you even... I mean, I feel like I do need to get both characters past that. And if only this escort was more like Dokuro. That is a good game that is entirely made of escort missions. I mean, it's a puzzle game. It's not like... Not like an action game. Although you do fight monsters. So uh, that was awkward because um, I missed the CD or something. I don't know what I missed. This is another level that doesn't give you any breaks. It occurs to me. Just instead of by constantly putting your characters in danger, they're constantly putting this pink thing in danger. This 
Sometimes your characters. Wait. Uh, uh. <laughs> I definitely need somebody on the enemy at that point, I feel like. But why would you why would you base a level on this? The worst platform in the world. Oops, I got the CD, so that's already game over. That's why I started using code to go low route. So... What is over here? Uh, more. Because of course there is. <laughs> That's the first time I've missed the spring. Okay, what happens here? We get the enemy onto... Thing. Oh no. What? I'm gonna let code ride the thing. So you have to drop it with the proper timing. And then. Not like that. <sighs> yeah, like that. Alright, then actually when it's over the thing... And then that happens, because it's the worst platform. Oh! That's what that switch is for. Oh, really? That's the mistake I made? Okay, that part's a lot more reasonable since that blocks them in. I never actually noticed what the, the switch would trigger. And also, you don't want to fall with the enemy. Because it's a really bad platform when it's in the air. I think actually if you're on the thing while it's in the air, you're doing the level wrong. Like, I thought I had to ride it up, but... Oh, well, I guess... Yeah, you do, don't you? Oh, that's going to be impossible to time. I think we want to catch it before it gets on that 2x2 two two of blocks. I guess I can go for it if I'm being slow, but let's, let's try not to be slow. Uh-oh. Hey, it worked out. Alright. So we want to end up on that switch. Now all rhythm has to do is actually get here. And then we get here, and then I don't know what's coming up, and I'm afraid. I think we want to... Oh boy. I might already have messed up. I waited too long on the enemy when I'm supposed to go forward and hit that switch. That's good. No! I thought I was lined up better than that. Oh, we failed the level. Oh, 
It's kind of weird being on that thing in the air, because even when it looks like you should be sticking to it, it's like being on a horizontally moving layer 2 object in Mario World. You, you just don't move with it. Or wait. No, that's not even true. Uh, bad comparison. <laughs> For some reason, I expected Code to also double jump there. I like, can't, yeah, both the characters are gonna go straight up. Basically, we shouldn't miss the switch. Oh. I think I tried jumping before Rhythm hit the ground or something, so she held the switch and so it didn't get pressed. Alright, don't grab the CD. Okay. What happened there? I must have uh, turned the blocks off late. You need to spring earlier. Oh, I was early there. Just hitting the spring isn't enough, I was saying, as I miss a spring and die. May not be enough, but it is necessary. Hey, we did it. Alright. Ah, I jumped forward early. Oh! <laughs> I needed to still be on the switch. Except wasn't I gonna get crushed? Oh! My dash wasn't ready. Needed to push it just a moment later. Or just mash the button. That would work too. Uh, yeah, about that. What is the actual switch timer? I haven't really gotten a good look at it. Too busy trying to, like, not lose the level. It's not working. Oh, um, that's not okay. I could have waited a bounce with rhythm, I think. Ah, I needed to air action his rhythm. Since I spent extra time as code. Um, that worked surprisingly well. <sighs> oh no! 
like, ah, I needed a synchro or something, but... Are you really gonna synchro in that segment? Maybe I should be sending rhythm first? Trying to do both at the same time? Ah! Went all the way over the thing. I don't think the mash dash strategy is gonna work ever. I need time for an extra bounce there. So do I do something as rhythm while I'm waiting for the bounces? What am I doing? I like forgot rhythm was supposed to go forward. Okay. Uh. Well, let's at least see if we can explore a little of level. Not really. I mean, I know I want to get rhythm on top of the thing now. Well, it's sliding sideways along that path. So code is a good choice to hold down that button. far right on this thing as I can have her. Oops. Um. Lost total track of the bounce timing or something. I don't know. I was just thinking, I feel like Talk House made this level. Oh, yeah, getting crushed off the top of the screen, of course. Yeah, what I mean with that comment about Talk House is, like, it's clever, but it's also kind of janky every time you're on the pink thing in the air. No! How do you do that? Can I, like... That might be faster than... I don't know. The way it pushes you off is totally not helpful. Maybe I need to first hit it a little later? I'm going forward too early? But at the same time, like... I think that complicates what rhythm will have to do. Or not complicates, but... Makes it a little harder. With the timing that I first hit that switch, the enemy is in it too long to hit it again. So I need to do something different entirely there, so that I first hit the switch with a different timing. Oh, right. You need to keep holding right as... <sighs> Oh no. I am not ahead enough. So rhythm needed... I mean, I can't make this jump. You need to be on top of it. Alright, rhythms? That was interesting. I guess it would save a little time if Rhythm didn't have to land on the switch after grabbing the spring, which she doesn't have to. 
Okay, wait until we only see four red things on the right. Yeah. There's the problem. Oh, I got Never Give Up. I've now taken a thousand attempts at levels. Go. Oh, that's not how you win the level. I was thinking about if I could skip a bounce to save time. And... But the whole point of doing it later is so things actually work. I need to prioritize r code there, but at the same time, rhythm needs to get on top. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, that worked, I guess. Uh, what? Where does code need to be standing? So I think that's the strategy. We don't go over the block with code. Wait, that's not right. Oh no. <laughs> it's because I double jumped with rhythm before the first spring. The timing there is very precise and very annoying for how far it is in the level that you need to do a bunch of things perfect in a row. Oh, whoops. Alright, we can get both of them up here. Where's the other... CD? Oh boy. This is exciting. Alright, we beat the level! <sighs> 10 megabytes bonus data! <laughs> it, uh, the, uh, the recording timer says an hour and five. Glad that end part only took one try. Wow! Oh wait, no. Okay, 140! I should say, 71 feels low, and isn't that what we had last time? No, 140 tries. On a level that takes over a minute to do properly. So, uh, yeah. More than halfway through the game doing the Dash 9 level. Even if you count the extra worlds. Stage 4-9 is already kind of more than halfway through the game, just because, um, 4-4 is the midpoint of the main game. Well, between 4-4 and 4-5, because they're in an even number of levels. Or wait. Midpoint is... earlier than that. 
I thought there were eight main worlds for some reason. It's been a long session, okay? Yeah, midpoint of the game is between 3-4 and 3-5, if you're only counting the main levels. Because 7-8 is the final level. I think that's right. Anyway, that's it for this part. In the next part, I guess I'll be trying 6-9. Let's, let's preview it briefly, even though I already don't know how I'm going to edit this, so I shouldn't be introducing more content. Hey, that's what it looks like. Looks to be a more puzzly level, rather than a constantly do things level. At least I'm hoping that. These, these last two have been pretty brutal. So, uh, yeah. See ya!